Good morning. If you're viewing me, it must be Thursday. I'm Dee Grossman, Executive Director of the Tuscarawas County Convention and Visitors Bureau. This morning, we're going to be up at Trumpet in the Land. I'm going to give you a backstage tour. Trumpet in the Land is Ohio's longest running outdoor drama, and because of this year's pandemic, it might be our only outdoor drama. You don't want to miss it. So stay tuned for the backstage tour of Trumpet in the Land. Here I am on stage. This is my only opportunity because I can't remember lines for anything. But this is the view that those actors have every single night. Let me just turn around for you. Look at this. It's a full 360, people. What a great view. And the acoustics in here are terrific. All right, we're walking back here. There's Margaret at the social distancing. What we do best these days. And there's Joey Von Amico, star of stage and screen. All right, I'm backstage now. This is called the backstage deck. There's Joe way on the other side. And yes, 51 years. It's starting to look its age. If you have any money that you want to donate for some renovations, I know they would take those. Okay, and here is the scene that rolls. You can see the wheels. This is the Fort Detroit scene and Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And again, that swivels around quietly. Here we are looking completely backstage. This is where the horses come from and where you see some of the pyrotechnics. And so for those of you that have never taken the uh, backstage tour, this is called the tunnel. This is where the characters go from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania to Schönbrunn. And you can't quite figure out how they did it. Now you know, this is the secret. And here we are on the other side of the tunnel, and as you can see, there's the horse path up there. And it is so spectacularly beautiful back here, so quiet. You can hear the birds. And here's a secret passageway so that the uh, soldiers can sneak into the fort and go up to the top of the parapet. Okay, if you can see the uh, hole in the steps, that used to be where the stage manager sat, but now the pyrotechnician sits there and reports up to the, uh, the head honchos, which is Margaret and Joe Bonamico. Okay, as we take one last look at Trumpet in the Land, scheduled to open this summer, mid to third week of June, all things pending, of course. I bid you farewell from Trumpet in the Land.